in general, this is called attribution theory because it's all about attributing something to something else. So in this case, we're attributing you know, motives or characteristics based on behaviors that we see. Some very interesting biases and errors that if you're not familiar with these, they're really gonna, not just with bicycling, but they're really gonna open up your mind. So it's something for you to really think about and I hope you can extrapolate this to your life in general. Attribution theory defines the phenomenon by which individuals attempt to search for and define the causes of certain behaviors. Fundamental attribution error, FAE. When we attribute a person's behavior to an internal stable feature of that person. Self-serving bias. When an individual attributes their successes to internal factors and their failures to external factors. Actor observer bias. When individuals explain their own behavior through external circumstances when they are the actor, in quotes, and explains the behavior of others through internal characteristics when other persons are viewed as the actor. Okay, so, so you can see how these three are very related but different. So the cool thing is, fundamental attribution error is really about the other person. So you're saying, for example, you know, you're seeing someone do something and you're attributing internal characteristics based on what you're seeing. So you're saying, you know, that person's this or that, but it has nothing to do really with you. And then self-serving bias has to do with only you, where you're looking at your own behaviors, you're saying, oh, I succeeded, so it's something about me that's good. And oh, I failed, so it's something about the world at large that made me fail. So that's the self-serving bias, where you're, you're, the good things that you do, you're saying, that's me, I did that. And then the failures are like, no, no, that's someone else's fault. So that's, that's about you. And then the last one, actor observer bias, is where you look at both sides. And basically what this one is saying is like, okay, so you see someone, I always use the example, you see someone trip over a crack, you're like, stupid person. And then you trip over a crack, you're like, stupid crack. You know, where with the person, you're like, well, you know, you don't, you don't really understand all the extraneous things that are happening, so you attribute the behavior to that person. Versus when you're doing it, when, when you're the actor, you're saying, oh, well, you know, I know that, you know, the shoes I'm wearing are broken or, you know, you have other, you, you're not going to call yourself a stupid person because you have all these other ideas of what's going on around you. Now, a great example of the actor observer bias actually just happened to me today. There's many places throughout the city where people put their garbage cans in the bike lane. So I actually have to exit the bike lane. Now, where I had to exit, the street was very torn up. There was a lot of cracks. So I basically had to take the lane to stay safe. So there's a bike lane with garbage cans, but not a lot, you know, like they're here and there. But I had to get out of the lane, and then the cars that see that, see, this is where the actor observer bias is. I'm not saying stupid person, I'm saying stupid garbage can, stupid cracks, that's why I have to be in the lane. I have all this information about the environment, but all the car driver sees is this bicycle in their way. They don't see the other things. So that's really why you can see the actor observer bias really comes to the forefront where you're like, look at this stupid bicyclist. You know, he's like, why isn't he in the bike lane versus me? I see all the reasons why I'm not in the bike lane. So a very concrete example of the actor observer bias. Well, here's the thing about bicyclists. Now, I was on my horse on a trail the other day and this bicyclist on a mountain bike thought he was clever. He was taking one of the trails, he fell on his head. Now, <laughs> of course, if it was me, that would never happen because I'm paying attention to life and I know what I'm doing, got my head up and my eyes open. Now, this fool is falling over. Now, obviously, he's a dumbass and he's, uh, he's probably poor, doesn't have much education because that's the way bicyclists are. You know, they're just not educated in the same way that people who are more well off are. So this guy, so he's seeing someone do something that what he calls stupid. Right away he's saying this person's poor, this person's a dumbass, this person's this and that. All these things that really have nothing to do with the behavior. You know, it could be that the guy just hit a rock and fell. You know, it could be just that simple. Or you know, his chain could have broken, whatever. There could be something in the environment. Not just that he's stupid or he's poor. I have no idea what that has to do with him falling. So there's, a, there's flavors of prejudice, but definitely the fundamental attribution error where he's seeing something happen that you know is a mistake or whatever you want to call it and right away he's attributing negative characteristics to the person and not taking into account the environment 
I go in the middle of the street. I go in between cars because I have to get away from people. I'm on the move. And I'm looking around, looking behind me, looking in front of me, looking in all different directions. And that's why I do it. But you, on the other hand, if you're on a bicycle and you're going in between traffic, well, you're just doing it because you're selfish. And I'm not selfish. I'm just trying to get from A to B in the most efficient way possible for the greater good of society. Which, again, uh, you don't see. So this guy, he's really, he's really none of the above. He's really just talking about how he should get preferential treatment because... He's, he's just arguing that he's better than others. So that's not really, that doesn't really fit into the bias here, the, the fundamental attribution error, one of the biases. Uh, he's really just ascribing judgment about the individual in both cases, himself and the other person. So he's just saying, I can do this and you can't. In a way it's kind of, well, it's kind of like micro discrimination if that's a word, but you know, it's not really even prejudice either. He's, he's just kind of being a little bit of a jerk, <laughs> maybe a little bit arrogant, saying that I have the right to do this and other people don't. Maybe narcissism, you know, maybe there's something going on there. But So he has some issue, it's just not one of these errors in of attribution theory. You know, I go through this intersection every morning. Now the first time I went through the stop sign, but because I didn't see it, because there were trees covering the stop sign. But I see bicyclists do this all the time, and I know they see the stop sign because they have a better view of the stop sign from the side of the road. So they're definitely doing it on purpose. Okay, clearly actor observer bias. This guy's saying, okay, well he missed it. He missed the stop sign because of the trees, because of external factors. But hey, those bicyclists, they definitely should have seen it. Or, you know, they're just bad people and all bicyclists are bad and they break the law and generalize, generalize. So, and he's attributing again, a behavior to internal characteristics, so actor observer bias. I think that when you look at a bicycle, you can see how stupid they are because they just get in the way. Now, uh, one guy was like, you're the one in the way because you're too big. Well, first of all, I'm overweight, okay? I have a problem and I'm trying to work past it, but it's hard. Well, don't judge me, but I can judge you because you're breaking the law. That's different, okay? You can make a choice to be a good person. I'm choosing to work on myself, but it's going to take time. <coughs> so this is an interesting one because you might be tempted to say actor observer bias, but although he is making judgments about the person, uh, he's not really ascribing his weight to external factors, which is what would be key for it to be the actor observer bias. And also it's different behaviors. So this one's hard to say. I would say that there's definitely some issues here uh, as with all of them, but I wouldn't categorize this as actor observer bias. Now, would I categorize it as, it's kind of almost like half of a self-serving bias where he's saying, you know, when he loses weight, it's because of what he's doing. Um, but then there's also a little bit of fundamental attribution error where he's saying this other person's doing bad things because they're bad. So it's a little bit all over the place.